Jukka Korkeila is our Visiting Artist of Year 2022 with his brand new exhibition Ganz Finland Bein, Tränen der Trauer, der Freude und des Heilens, which means all of Finland weeps, tears of sorrow, joy and healing. The exhibition runs here at the Institute until the 10th of November. Jukka, how do you feel about this exhibition? Well, it's, uh, it's uh, rather fantastic to be back back in Berlin again and, uh, after such a long long break. And uh, due to many reasons, I have, haven't been uh, showing my works here. And uh, I've been also away for many years. And uh, it feels good to be back. There is a lot of symbolism in your works. Here, you have, for example, combined the Orthodox cross with the rainbow flag. What is the story behind this work, Oneness of Purpose? Uh, it's it's kind of like a work about like uh, bringing people to like di dialogue uh, with, with each other and uh, thinking about this kind of like uh, uh, Christian like uh, fundamentalists and then, then this kind of LGTB, uh, IQA plus people who are mostly being excluded from, from this kind of like context and how, how, how to bring these people together in a dialogue instead of like uh, letting this kind of like polarization happen. So, so bringing people into dialogue and uh, having in, in, into a common table and uh, having a discussion. So, so it's a kind of like a, how, how to find a common compromise. The exhibition has a very striking title, All of Finland Weeps. And I have understood that it's a reference to the Karelian tradition of weeping women. What is it that is so liberating about the act of crying? It's uh, crying is one of the most like uh, important, like uh, most important uh, emotional outlets that, uh, that human beings actually have, and uh, it's it's a part of like uh, being being balanced as, as a human being, and uh, so it's a part of uh, being a human being is actually that we're able to cry and uh, and weep, and uh, so uh, and it's sometimes falsely kind of like uh, regarded as a kind of like sign of weakness and uh, I would say it's the opposite. It's, I mean it's like uh, it's uh, a, sign, a sign of certain strength that you can actually express your emotions like freely. Uh, in, in Finland we have this uh, almost disappearing tradition of, of like uh, weeping women that are coming from like a uh, side of the Karelia and uh, since my one of my grandmothers is actually coming from this uh, Karelian area, I, I feel that I also have a connection to this kind of like uh, tradition, and uh, and this was mostly kind of like a task for like uh, older women who kind of like uh, were, were kind of like presenting themselves as this kind of like uh, mourners at funerals, as this kind of like how, how to open up the, the grief for the for the for the for the grieving family and so on. So th this is actually a really important task in in, in the communities and. Uh, to kind of like be, be, the, be the kind of like a key that opens the lock for the for the morning. Another figure that often appears in your works is Frau Kraft from Stockholm. Could you tell us a little bit more about her? Uh, here, we, for example, we have this kind of like a, it's a kind of like a hybridization of, of a certain like let's say like fantasy characters. And then uh, this is kind of character created by Markus Karger called like uh, Frau Kraft aus uh, Stockheim. So, so this is actually a combination of like uh, at least like three different kind of like characters. And one of course is this uh, is Frau Kraft. And uh, the second one is, is, is a kind of like a smurf, uh, Shrek kind, kind of thing, which is also combined to kind of like uh, the missing hair of Donald Trump. With uh, Frau Kraft, it's, it's kind of like uh, because my work is uh, tied to certain kind of like intimacies, so I'm uh, I've been also painting uh, the kind of like the closest ones in my life, and uh, Marcus uh, is uh, at, at the moment uh, the one. So so and Marcus is alter ego, like uh, the main character as he is, uh, usually calls it. So it's uh, Frau Kraft, which is often being repeated in my work these days.